Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This will apply to the S22, S22 Plus and other similar Samsung devices. I'm going to show you to customize the Samsung keyboard. So of course, if we come here, you'll notice this is the um, Samsung keyboard. It has all of its functionality right here. What I'm going to show you to do guys is to, how to um, customize and enable or disable some of the key features of the keyboard so of course to have it behaving like you would want it to all right so let's go straight into it all right so go to settings once you're in settings guys you're gonna go down to um, general management i would think so go into general management and of course you should see here it says samsung keyboard settings you can go ahead and um, click on samsung keyboard settings and you'll be taken to this menu um, similarly guys you can also um, get here if you are on um, any place that uh, requires text input you can go and look right here you'll see the gear icon you can also tap here once you do guys <clears throat> you can actually turn off some of the features let me explain what each is you can actually um, turn off predictive text that's the one where you type out a word it predicts what the word is and finishes it for you very important feature or cool feature that saves time but you can turn it off you can turn it on um, you can also have um, suggestive emojis, you can turn those off, stickers while typing, you can have those uh, as well, auto replace, suggestive text corrections, so of course in case where you're typing and spelling errors, you can have suggestive text corrections, you can choose the dominant language here which is US um, English, and of course Here's the keyboard toolbar, you can have that on. You can have the eye contrast keyboard, as I've just turned on. Um, let me show you what it is better. So as you can see here, this is the high contrast keyboard, which is pretty cool. So if you want, you can turn this on. It's quite nice, it highlights the keys, and it's very um, visible. All right, so if you want to turn the high contrast keyboard on, um, you can also customize for the high contrast keyboard if you want, as just seen. But if you want, you can turn the eye contrast keyboard off. Um, you have the theme option there. As you can see, the keyboard changes from dark to light themes. You have the standard um, split keyboard layout if you want. So if you want, you can go to a one-handed keyboard, floating keyboard, standard keyboard, split keyboard, floating keyboard. All right, so it's all of, um, up to you. You can mess with the fonts, custom symbol, swipe actions, X, S pen to text. That's where you can use your S Pen as an input device, the type where you use the keyboard, especially in text input fields. All right, so as you can see here, there's a lot of customizations and you can control everything that appears on your keyboard. So you can always mess with these to get the best out of your keyboard, to have it performing as you would like. Um, one thing I suggest, guys, is if you want, um, simply turn enable one feature at a time and see if you like um, what they do. And if not, you can always turn them back on. And that way you can customize and get the very best to your keyboard. I'm going to do it earlier, guys. As always, Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.